think hate uh, and hate violence can affect any group, any society, or any person, any age, if the situation is right. Uh, when there's a lack of opportunity, people turn to very desperate solutions. And when somebody comes and promises you an easy solution and blames somebody else for the problems that you have, it's very easy to say, yeah, I hate that person because they took my job or because they hurt my family. But without experiencing the truth and having it happen, uh, we shouldn't judge other people on that. So when people feel on the outside, they blame somebody else for that problem instead of looking maybe inside. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how a son of uh, migrants mm -hmm. go uh, against other migrants? I was an angry teenager. I was looking for an identity. I was looking for a community to belong to. And, and I was always somebody who was very idealistic. I wanted to do something important. But I felt very abandoned by my parents. Uh, I didn't understand then uh, that they were just working hard to support their family in, in, in a place where it was hard for an immigrant to do that. Instead, I felt abandoned by them, so I went searching for a new family, and then I became angry at my parents, so I turned my anger towards other immigrants. Mm -hmm. And you didn't understand that they are migrants as you are and mm -hmm. they are not to blame. Yeah, no, I didn't realize that then because I was so angry that when I started to get a little bit of power because people now accepted me or feared me because I hated them and I was violent, uh, I mistook that for, for power and it wasn't real power, it was false power and I, it clouded everything else logical in my mind. I was just acting in a very angry way as revenge because I hated myself and if I took my own hate and I put it on other people then mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel the pain for that. And uh, where were your parents at that time? Didn't they see the change in you? And I think at first they didn't see the change uh, because I, I was hiding it. <laughs> and uh, you know, when I was 14 years old, I was very shy. I was very insecure. But being a part of that movement made me feel. But then you become a leader of this group. I became so a leader. Yeah. So it filled me with this uh, false power. Uh, and when they found out, they really tried to help me. They tried very, very hard. Um, but at that point, I was so resentful to them uh, for feeling abandoned that I didn't want to listen to them. Mm -hmm. But they also, they argued with me about what I believed and told me I was wrong. Anytime anybody did that, that made me angrier and it pushed me farther away. And I think mm -hmm. as adults or as parents, we need to listen more than we talk because <laughs> young people want to be heard. They don't want to be talked to. Yeah. And if maybe we listen to the young people and what they have to say and then support their passions, they'll move on to more positive things instead of feeling so desperate that they have to find a solution in a, in a negative